I watch that fight two times a night. I just keep going through my head what I can do differently, what I can do better, and what I need to do to win this fight. Um, after the last fight, Jared's been talking a lot, saying that if there was a fourth round and a fifth round, he wouldn't be able to do it, but there wasn't. There's no what-ifs in fighting. There wasn't. I won. I'm going to do the same thing this time. Their first fight together opened one of the battlefield's most stacked professional cards. As Micah Brakefield and Jared Cornelson faced off against each other to become the number one contender for the middleweight title. The winner of that bout, Micah Brakefield, went on to become the first Battlefield Fight League middleweight champion. However, these two have unfinished business inside the cage. The first fight with me and Jared was pretty back and forth. Right away, you know, he took his wrestling game to me, he caught that suplex off the bat. Oh! Dropped me on the back of my head. Uh, it wasn't too painful, but it definitely gave him the boost in the fight, gave him the momentum. Then got pretty tired. Micah's a little, uh, a little slower getting up here. He was getting real gas at that point, you could tell. Oh, big right hand by Jared Nelson. He's wow. to the body from the jerk now. And that's it, wow, wow. One thing I knew uh, the whole time is he couldn't finish me. The strength wasn't there, the finish wasn't there. Jared's also a very good wrestler. Um, his ground game is excellent, so we're not afraid to go to the ground. You know, we're not going to just play the, the boxer, puncher versus grappler game. Uh, Jeff Van Dam is strength and conditioning coach. Uh, he's won Canada's top strength and conditioning coach twice. He lives in Victoria. I live in Nanaimo. We either meet halfway in Duncan, or I'll come down there, or he'll come up here. Uh, a lot of the exercises that we do with Jared are designed to help build his power. And so we'll do things like power cleans, which, which work on full body power. We do a lot of core work specifically for MMA. Uh, a lot of twisting, a lot of rotational, uh, just working on multi-planes, just different, different angles just to keep him off guard. I think Jared's going to be able to dictate this fight uh, with his, just his sheer power and strength. And he's going to be able to push the pace that uh, I don't think Mike is going to be able to handle. Sean Albright's done most of my uh, stand-up coaching. We hit pads whenever we can, try and explore some good game plan, some holes we see in Jared's game. We've got a lot of stuff we're working on. Well, going with Caleb's pretty much irreplaceable on the, in the lower mainland. Like he's, he's had five fights in the UFC, he's fought Chris Liebman, he's fought Yoshino Kami. Like, he's fought the world's best guys, and that's exactly what I need to get to the next level. Over a lot of the basics and stuff, a lot of stuff that I'm missing. I kind of jumped into it fighting main event, so I never really got to, to learn the basics, the hip escapes, the all the mount escapes, all the basics. He's a really tall, a lanky athlete. So for an athlete of, of his type, there's uh, certain things that are going to work for him better than others. And uh, you know, he works really hard, and he's a dedicated guy. He puts a lot of time in in the gym, so I'm sure that he'll do fine. You know. Be successful. This is exactly how I looked after last time I fought him. <laughs> uh, one thing I know is uh, in main events, uh, he chokes. Um, he's been in the position a few times, and, and this isn't going to be any different. Um, I'm going to put him out. Yeah, well, he's never had a main event fight. He hasn't had the chance to choke yet. It doesn't matter if the pressure gets to him, I'm going to get to him. He doesn't have to choke for me to beat him. I'm going to win this fight.